Well, what are you doing? I'm coloring a picture. Oh, that's a nice picture. What are you yeah. coloring the picture for? So, we just found out that um, a pastor friend who lives in Pennsylvania. Yep, in Pennsylvania. Her name's Amy. Yeah, she, um, someone in her congregation has a foreign exchange student right now who's from Peru. His name is Jose. And I don't know if some of you guys remember, we had a foreign exchange student named Ivana a few years ago. And as part of that program, at the end of the school year, they get to go on this great, amazing trip where they get to see all of the continental U.S. and they go to a bunch of different states and see these huge landmarks. Um, and because of everything going on, he won't be able to do that trip this year. So he's yeah. pretty bummed about it. I would be too if I were him. Yeah. So my friend Amy then is reaching out to all the people she knows and finding um, people from each state and they're, and she's asking them to mail her stuff uh, from those and then they're going to present it to him and in a way they'll sort of um, it's not the same thing, but with life the way it is right now, it's sort of uh, as close as we can get to the trip. So she asked us for a little help about Iowa, and so that's why we chose this picture of the prairie, because that's one of the things about Iowa, and I know that's what I love about Iowa. Like, the perfect Iowa sky is when you look at the horizon and you go up, you see each shade of blue, and that's mm -hmm. how you know you're in Iowa. Yeah. Um, so you can do whatever you want. You know, of course, I was famous for corn. You could uh, write a little bit about that. Um, there's also, we have a lot of pigs. That's not usually what I think of for Iowa, but that's a thing. All the farms. Um, but maybe there's something that you know that makes you think of home, and you could, um, you could find a picture about that. Um, Jose's from Peru, mm -hmm. and so you could even ask your whoever, your, the adult there with you, to Google Iowa and Peru, because when we did that with Croatia, remember we found out Croatia is like almost the same size as Iowa. Yeah. So kind of fun things like that. And so maybe you'll learn some things that are in common mm -hmm. um, or some kind of neat little facts that you can share with our friend Jose. Uh, in the comments for this, we'll write how to spell Jose. It's J-O-S-E, but it's got the little thing at the end of it so we can spell it right. And I will ask her too to maybe he'll make a video for us on the other side of it or at least a picture that we'll share and that'll be cool. Um, you know, that'll be a few weeks out. But what we thought is you all could help and we hope that you would do that now brighten Jose's day yeah. and maybe kind of fill some of our time um, while we're all cooped up. It's a rainy weekend here. So. Yeah, and so try and think of a few things maybe about Burlington or yeah. Meepo, wherever it is that you guys are living right now, um, and to maybe describe Snake Alley or the Mississippi River or what your school is like. Just simple things like that that might be able to help give him a picture of what life is like here. So we're really excited about this. I've finished up my picture uh, Pastor Ryan and I finished that up, so we'll get that together and yeah, just send your stuff to, to the church and we'll make yeah. sure to get that sent uh, to Amy in Pennsylvania so that way she can get everything put together um, to give to him later. So Yep, let's try to do it this week, she said, because yeah. they're arranging to get back sooner, ending his trip and everything like that. So we'll get it, all the stuff out this week and I'll mail it off Friday or something like that. So. Yep. Okay. Well, we miss you all. Miss you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.